this is Jackie Sunshine Smith, the Boxing Diva, and you're watching the Sunshine Boxing Show, the TKO Talk Show, because we only talk boxing. And today, we're talking boxing with Roman Greenberg. How you doing, Roman? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Great. And Robert Waterford, a promoter for Roman Greenberg. How you doing, Robert? I'm doing good, thanks. Great. Now, you guys are in Atlanta. We're here at the Mojita Cafe. At, what is the hotel? It's the Hotel Midtown, uh, formerly of the Wyndham. Okay, right on 10th Street in Midtown for you regulars out there. Roman, who's 27 and 1, and that just happened this past weekend here in Atlanta as an up and coming fighter. Roman, tell us a little bit about your background, or how you got involved in boxing. Well, I um, originally come from Russia. Uh, we immigrated to Israel when I was 11 years old. Um, pretty much straight after that, I got into boxing. Um, there was a boxing club um, not far from my house. And, um, you know, I, I, guess I, I guess I loved it. And uh, the trainers saw potential. And uh, I got into it more serious. And then I, when I was 15... I went to my first international competition, which was the European um, Juniors uh, Championship, and I won the silver medal. And after that, I thought, that might be it for me. Okay, so you were fighting world-class fighters at that point. Well, quite young <laughs> world-class <laughs> fighters. I was only 15. But yes, I was. A, after that, I went on to another European Championships, which I won another silver medal and do a world championship in 2000, which I won a silver medal as well. And after that, I turned pro. Okay, and you're a promoter here, Robert. Robert, uh, tell us, how did you meet with Roman? Well, it's a, a long story, but basically I was uh, promoting on Eurosport Television, which is a pan-European um, uh, television station. It goes out to 100 million households across Europe. And I was trying to get dates with them. And they said, Robert, we don't need another promoter from the UK. We've already got promoters from the UK. Come up with another territory that's important for us. So <clears throat> I knew that Eurosport was, uh, went to Israel. And I knew that no one was putting boxing shows on in Israel. So I went out to Israel to try and see if it would be possible to put on a boxing show there. Whilst there, I also decided to look for some talent. And unfortunately, I met him. And and I um, really liked what I saw. I saw fast hands, good movement, big guy, young, obviously immense amateur pedigree. And um, the rest is history. And that's how I met Roman. Okay. Roman, uh, your first professional fight, what was it like? Where was it? What happened? And tell us what happened after that that made you keep going because you're – what, 27 fights? You've been pretty active. Well, as a matter of fact, I wasn't very active uh, because I had, um, um, we had quite a few injuries on the way and you know, we had to pull out a couple of fights because of bad hand. And just recently I had an operation on my right hand. I was out for 10 months. Um, but, you know, I've 20, 27, 20, no, 28 fights, you know, still good result um you asking about the first fight it was in london i think yes um um do you remember the hotel? Was, it, was it at a dinner show yeah um it was at a dinner show at a hotel in london okay. and um that was my debut um i was i can remember i was very very nervous i thought oh. but you decided you know i think i'll keep doing this i, I like it as a professional oh yeah definitely i mean um Obviously, the training for it is quite hard, you know, and being disciplined and all that. But um, the fighting itself, the, the, the night of the fight, I absolutely love everything about it. The feeling, the, the, the being nervous you know, before the fight. And, of course, you know, I love winning. Oh, okay. Now, Robert, we know the Eastern Bloc of fighters are really just taking on dominating the industry at this point. And it's interesting because, uh, Roman, what, you're Russian and Jewish? Russian. I was born, 
I'm Jewish that was born in Russia. Okay. <laughs> so you have an interesting character. I mean, this is uh, one of those made-for-television stories here. How do you see it? Well, no, of course. I mean, uh, it's very interesting because I'm really into the international aspects of boxing, and uh, most American promoters promote primarily in the United States. Most British promoters promote primarily in the United Kingdom, in Britain. Um, I'm a British prom promoter who primarily promotes in other countries. And most of the countries that I promote in is Eastern, what you call the Eastern Bloc, we call Eastern and Central Europe. And so we're very familiar with Russia, the Ukraine, the Czech Republic, uh, Belarus, um, and we're putting on events regularly in those places. Now, if you want to ask me why uh, they're taking over the world of boxing, I think it's, it's a very interesting question, but it's reality. I think the first thing is it was always artificially against them because when they were communist countries there was no professional boxing so in the days of the communist uh, when we used to call the when the iron curtain was up um, you never saw any eastern bloc or uh, russian professional boxers because unless they got out of the country and it, and uh, uh, took different nationalities you only ever saw them at the olympics so when uh, they've become capitalist countries and democracies um, professional boxing has started and you've begun to see that the amateurs have realized that they can make more money and have better lifestyles as top professionals. So that's the first reason why the Eastern Bloc is beginning to dominate. The second reason uh, is that the American boxing, in my opinion, is deteriorating. You've only got to look at the last set of Olympics for that, where America, which have just finished in Beijing, America, I think it's the first time I can remember where England has done better than the United States in the Boxing Olympic table. And the reason for that, I believe, is that American kids have lots of different uh, sports and opportunities open to them. And, as I understand it, for many sports they can get scholarships to college, but not for boxing. And I think as long as that situation remains... Um, we're going to see, and, and as long also as television in the United States doesn't um, help fund or put money into the roots, the grassroots of the sport, you're going to see a deteriorating American uh, boxing uh, community, I believe.